Memnon and his warriors ten years to win the siege of Troy. They had managed to create an elaborate ruse and their elite forces had been able to penetrate the mighty city walls. One cannot imagine what it must have been like for the soldiers led by Odysseus inside the Trojan horse. Even though they were the most highly skilled fighters of the ancient world, they had to endure 100 degree temperatures for probably up to 24 hours as they waited for Odysseus's plan to work. Meanwhile, King Agamemnon and the rest of his forces covertly returned to the shores of Troy under the cover of night, ready to sack the city once the gates of Troy had been opened by Odysseus's men. Once inside the city, the Greeks showed no mercy. The besiegers would have swept through the town, killing indiscriminately not only the warriors, but women, children, even animals. There were few Trojan survivors. King Agamemnon's vicious assault and burning of the citadel revealed the ruthlessness of warfare in antiquity. It was one of the bloodiest and most barbaric sackings of the ancient world. Even today, the meaning of the Trojan horse carries huge significance in modern culture, being associated with deception and fraud. The siege of Troy would have cost vast amounts of money. As with all wars, ancient or modern, the biggest investment would have been in the quest for the latest and most effective military technology. In the ancient world, as ever, warfare was the single greatest incentive to technological progress. We may never know for certain whether the legend of the Trojan horse is myth or reality. But what we can glean from evidence excavated from the ancient world suggests that warfare in the late Bronze Age used sophisticated technology, much of which we no longer have the knowledge or skills to recreate. The siege of Troy was long considered to be little more than a fanciful myth. But today, new discoveries are making us reopen the history books and rethink everything we thought we knew about the ancient world.